Hi guys, it's Mokube here. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create your seller account and how to add digital product to your online WooCommerce store. Let's get into the video. So the first thing is that you simply need to click on what start selling with seller. It is going to take us to another interface. So guys, once you get here, you can simply um, create your account by either your email address or your Twitter account, which is the X account or your Facebook account. So guys, I'll start by inserting my email address. After that, I'll insert my name. Okay. Once you're done, insert your name, you insert your password. I was generated from Google. After that, you click on what create account. So guys, we just successfully created our account. So after that, you simply need to choose your account profile. So you're a content creator or you're an affiliate marketer or you're a um, customer. So I'm going to choose creator or click on what continue so guys once you're here you simply need to set up your bank details so i'll choose my country that's cameroon you insert your bank choose your bank so i want to be using my mo mobile money so i'll choose it and i'll simply insert my telephone number so after that, I'll click on what? Continue. Okay. So guys, once you're done with that, automatically send an email that you have you have successfully added your your mobile money as payment method. And this other email was for you creating your account. You successfully created your account. You see? This is here. So guys. So guys, once you're done with that, you simply go back to your dashboard and we'll start by adding our product. We'll click on add product. So guys, after that, you click on what? Digital product. Since we're adding a digital product, we'll click on it. So once you get here, you simply need to insert your what? The product name, the image, that is the price, description, the category, and the subcategory and more information so guys after that you insert you simply need to insert the shop category so you can see it's empty but for the shop category let me show you guys how to create the shop category so i'll simply click on this three dot here after that i'm going to click on what um product after that i'll click on product categories so we'll start by creating our category let's say since we are adding by this plugin let's just say we'll just name it um plugin plugin that's plugins you simply ins insert the description of the plugin if you want that is let me just say buy your plugin yeah so after that you click on what create category so guys once you're done with that you simply go back to your product shop you refresh the browser so after that we'll start by inserting our what our product name come here and copy this since we're inserting with this product come back insert it here after that you insert the product image so i'll take it directly from my dashboard that is for my laptop open so after that you simply need to insert the product price but the image needs to be at least 300 times 300 pixel as but my own is 590 times 300 pixel but not bad it's acceptable so after that you insert the price let's say 1000 francs 
so guys once you're down you screw here you simply need to insert the, the description so i'll come back here let me just say let me just copy this description copy it come here and paste it here so guys you screw down and you simply need to insert the product category let me just say content and media after that for sub category choose on it graphic so guys okay once you are here for so i'm going to leave this one that is for variable products that's the variation so i'm going to leave it in the since it's optional so once you get here for more information we'll click on what upsell and cross sale but this one is actually for premium version so i won't touch it i'll just leave it like that come back here screw down and for pre order products let's say you want to give the date that people can actually purchase this product at a lower um, cost but in this case i'm going to leave it in that manner you can insert the date and you can also insert the time so let me just leave it like that okay guys this is a category we just created plugin so after that you simply need to choose the you simply need to drop or choose the plugin folder here is it here open it it's actually uploading so you simply need to wait so guys once it is complete for automatic redirect the buyer to an external link after purchase it depends on you you can put let me say you can put your website link here you can put your, your another purchase link here or you can put your youtube link here whatsoever link you want to put it depends on you what you want so guys i'm going to leave it like that i'm going to check on my information check it again okay check it again check it again okay once you're done with checking your information, you simply click on what? Create product. So guys, we just successfully created our product. So we are going to verify. We click on it. So guys, this is a product we are just on creating. You can see the ban the, the image banner is that way large because our image was 590 times. 300 normally it was supposed to be at 300 it was supposed to be 300 times 300 pixel but it is more than so that's actually the reason why it's like that so guys this is the price that's the description we just added and this is the name here so guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave your comments in the comments section below if you face any difficulty doing this we love you all see you in the next tutorial peace out